Well, hello there, and welcome to this week's broadcast. I am Anne LaFollett, a surface pattern designer, online educator, and creative entrepreneur, and I am doing this quick tips series for the next several weeks about craft fairs as we enter the holiday season. So today's quick tips video is about sort of the second step in the process, which is to pick the products you want to sell. And I have three main things I want you to consider, or three tips. So tip number one is you don't want to have too many products, meaning that you want to have an assortment that's pretty narrow and focused. That's tip number one, so that you can manage the amount of inventory you need to buy, you can ensure that your overhead is going to be as low as possible, and so that you can present it in a way that's very cohesive and understandable as people go by your table. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is make sure, of course, that you're thinking about the season. And so what are seasonally appropriate gifts that people are going to be looking for or items that they're going to be needing? For example, wrapping paper is a fabulous thing to be offering during the holiday season. So are teacher gifts or elements that could become teacher gifts. And that leads to tip number three, which is think in threes, meaning think about items that you're selling that can mix and match. So for example, for the holiday season, if families or children want to give a teacher gift, they might want to give the teacher a tote bag, a notebook, and maybe a mug for their morning coffee or tea. And that's three items that could be purchased together as a little bundle. And one of the things that I learned from my 35 years in retail was this concept around what's called UPT, or units per transaction. And you always want to be encouraging your customers to purchase three items or more. So if you actually can bundle some of the items you're planning on selling into things that make complete sense as a bundled gift, then someone will walk away with a purchase of three of your items instead of just one. And another way to think about that is if you have beautiful notebooks that have your designs on them, sell them in packs of three. I think you get the idea. So those are my three tips for how to pick the products that you might want to offer this holiday season. And so give that some more thought, jot down your best ideas, and of course, leave a comment below if you've got any questions at all. I always like to say in closing that I am Anne LaFollette, and it's never too late to create. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now.